you know, one of the biggest trends we can expect to see this season are the bright colored lips. Yep, pucker up. The bright reds are back and here to show us all the lipstick looks that'll work for the office and a night out is the senior beauty editor of Ladies Home Journal, Erica Metzger. Welcome back. Good Hi, to see you. Thanks for having me. You're helping our lips, you know, working it out. We're going to talk about the um, a proper lip gloss or lipstick for the work place. Okay, well. And also we're going to go to the night out yep. and we're going to do the weekends, right? Yep, we're going to cover it all. Okay, so <laughs> when we go to the office, what do we need to know? What should we not be doing? Okay, the rule here to stay safe is to stick to a neutral. Okay. And your best bet here is to go with a cream formula. Mm -hmm. Formula. It's the most traditional kind of lipstick. Okay. It gives you a good amount of coverage plus a little moisture. We have one here from um, Neutrogena and it, it, pump, it pumps up the moisture in your lips so oh. it's going to feel good on your lip as well. Mm -hmm. Also you can go with a pearl which is kind of the modern day frost Right. Um, and it kind of has a little bit of a metallic sheen so it gives your lips just a little extra. It looks really pretty and the great thing with both of these formulas is that they wear off evenly. So after lunch, if you don't have time to reapply and you have a big meeting, right. you're not going to have that garish uh, red lip outline or exactly. anything it's too crazy. It's all about like, low maintenance when you're at the office because that shouldn't be your top priority, right? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Now, let's go to the nights out. It's okay to wear some red now, right? This is your chance to wear red. Yeah. <laughs> you have your excuse. Um, red is so sexy. It makes an instant statement. So an easy way to, way to wear red is to go with a gloss, you know, because it kind of makes the color a little more sheer, but it's still bright. It's fun. It's going to add a lot lot of shine. Um, we have a really pretty one here from L'Oreal, also um, Sally Hansen. And mm -hmm. it, the only thing to watch out with, with gloss is that it wears off pretty quickly. Okay. So you're going to want to start with a nice uh, lip liner that actually matches the shade of your lips. Okay. And that'll give it a little more staying power. And you said the shears are not as intense, right? If you're not trying to get that bow factor going right, on. Right, exactly. They're kind of the reds for beginners. But if you do want to make a giant statement, which, you know, sometimes it's totally appropriate, mm -hmm. you can go with um, a matte formula. And that's over here we have a really pretty one from um, the Lipstick Queen. And it's um, all about getting full coverage. It's the highest amount of pigment you can put on your lips. It's going to give you that big, beautiful statement mouth. Um, but you have to be really careful you with do. these, right? You do. Any little mistake is going to show. Okay. So here you're going to take out a lip brush. You're going to take your time and really um, paint it on your lips for that perfect mouth. Okay. And then for the weekends, you've got some products here. People don't want to overdo it on the weekend. That's no. your chance to kind of tone it down a little bit. But what do you have here that would help us for those two days? Yeah, you're, you, you may be running around with the kids, you mm -hmm. know, shopping, but you still want to look good, you want to feel pretty. So a uh, tinted lip balm is the best way to go here. Okay. Um, we have a really nice one from Burt's Bees and Carez there in that little pot. Um, and it's all about moisturizing your lips, just like your, you know, your reliable chapstick, mm -hmm. but also adding just a nice little hint of color as well. Right. So it's very pretty and still casual. Okay, and I have to ask you, if I can put you on the spot, what, did, what do you have on? Oh, what sure. Well, I actually did a little combo. I went with a cream lipstick, uh -huh. and I actually used one of the, the gloss here from L'Oreal. I just topped it the gold. Oh, so you mixed side. it a little bit there. A little mix. Okay. Yeah, you can always play. Okay. There's so many looks you can. And with the reds, you know, again, you can play with them a little bit, but some of them, you just have to be very careful with the ones that you put on your skin tone, right? Um, with the reds, yeah, you want to, reds, the rule of thumb is go with one that has blue undertones. Okay. That's going to flatter a range of shades. And, um, you know, another really fun look, just real quick, with is the, um, a, a lip stain. Mm -hmm. And that's actually, um, it's it's almost like painting your lips with watercolors. Really? It leaves a beautiful wash of color. It's going to stay on. Okay. They dry really fast because they're water-based. So be careful, right? So be careful, <laughs> but it's a really great look. Okay. A lot of people are starting to use these, right? Yeah, they're really popular. Okay. And they come in these really fun marker kind of formats. And what, men wonder why it's so difficult to be a woman. Look at this. Look at all this. This is just the lipstick alone. Thank you so much, Erica. We Thanks appreciate for it. Me. Thanks for watching Better.TV. For more stories like the one you just saw, catch the television program Better every weekday. Check your local TV listings to see if Better airs in your city.